and we're back with episode one part four of the wolf among us let's check out this severed head of a prostitute that sounds so mean to call her that what is she was a nice lady girl whatever got some it's gum a ribbon there's some kind of symbol here hmm. looks like I a smiley face it. clown thing Neither do I. And a uh, uh, fleur de lis. That's the French. She of was it. placed here with fleur de lis. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Woody, maybe. <laughs> oh, Jesus! What did this to her? What could do something? Really like graphic there. Uh, you might not have seen it too much if uh, YouTube magic dims it. it. God, that neck is gruesome. I guess knuckles are pretty bad, uh, but they're just like, you know, a detail. They stand out, but the neck is, ugh. Maybe I'm a little squeamish. I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. Um, what... What do you want to do next? She's going to be my partner, I think. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. Good idea. Hey, it's not. You all right? Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Bushes. Let's look at them. Okay. I was hitting Y like Nobody there. 20 times. <laughs> Why did I investigate those just to say no one's there? That's a little, a little silly. Saw something over there. Blood. Drops of blood. Was it hers? Is it going so towards the there? An hour maybe. It's going towards the head or going away from the head? Did she injure someone? No signs that it's been here long. Probably about an hour, same as the blood. Well, we're picking it up anyway, so stop complaining. Sometimes you hit Y and it doesn't really do anything. Just some loose trash. <laughs> Why can I examine it again? Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Okay, fair enough. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Let's check this again. I'm surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. Anything else? I think I, I caught it all. Doing. That seems a little perverted. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Squatting down, looking at her uh, skirt dress. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? I don't want to say yet. Sorry, Snow. Just not ready to say yet. Fine. Let's just get upstairs. 
upstairs. That was weird way to say stairs. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Do what you need to. It's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. King Cole. I just don't want him interfering. I can't think of who that would be for uh, a fairy tale. There's a lot of fairy tales that I don't Crane's know. Not what's important right now. Same with Crane. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. Swinehart. I'll meet you at the business office. A pig of some sort. I'm trying to piece all of this together, but uh, my fairy tale knowledge is limited to the musical books I taught last year, um, which were like bastardizations of the old fairy tales. Usually, usually they were just like bad retellings. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? What are you blind? No. Why you don't see? There's a line. Uh, Ichabod Crane. I'm standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in. Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Who is that guy? Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. What a dick. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things, Sheriff? You are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? He seems any, very Scroogeish. Anything at all? The really about Crane. Of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman. That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. I think lead is spelled differently. Normally it has to do with, um... The last thing we need is all a fable The reporter's lead, which is L-E-D-E. Snow. Uh, yes? But, uh, Sir? I don't know. Call Vivian right this minute it's and let her know I'm things. coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Forget it. You can't do anything right. There is a, a severed head. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll Dick. find someone who can. Fuck you. you. Know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. The guy reminds me of a uh, Scrooge and the other uh, stage Jews from uh, Charles well, Dickens' days. Well, where they had a... Um, Big nose, they're very cheap, they're very grumpy, uh, usually bald with yeah, their um, head. Like Fagus from Oliver Twist. Um, oh, Crane doesn't like Scrooge. There's some others. I don't Never remember them. Smoke away. I want to know about the massage. Crane. Happy ending. Doesn't really matter the time of day. The mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. <gasps> is is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Who's that? The flying monkey from the Wizard of Oz? Is that really a fairy tale? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> I like that guy. Uh, 
How are you today, Mr. Bigby? I like his eyes. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. So They're very animalistic. Yeah, not your fault. Not you know, right. human eyes. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Like a librarian? He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Mm hmm the mirror. I really have to get good I'm appointment looking. squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Hi. Ooh. So it's not just like the German fairy tales, like the Brother Grimm uh, fairy tales, German generally. It's also the it's the popular ones, I guess, like Wizard of Oz, Aladdin, which is Arabian. Um, I don't think Wizard of Oz is based on anything, but try. <laughs> so I kind of like this better than The Walking Dead season one. I haven't played season two yet. Uh, Because I can actually oh, walk around. Strength. Yes, it comes in all forms. Okay, before I touch that mirror, I'm gonna break the episode, and uh, yes. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye.